Good afternoon, folks. This is Mr. Eck, uh, recording today from the math office of our high school. So if you hear any strange sounds, it's just math teachers, don't worry. Uh, today we're going to talk about finding the solutions to the equation 75 sine of 10x plus 100 equals 50. I've chosen this equation because it's the type of equation you might see in the middle of a trig word problem. There's no word problem here, just the equation, but this is the kind of thing that you're going to have to solve in order to get any farther in the word problem. One thing to look at right away, as I said, find the solutions, plural, to this equation. So we're going to be able to solve the equation using algebra. We're only going to get one solution. Then we're going to use the graph to find the other solutions. Here's what the graph looks like right away. This is the graph of our function, trig function, 75 sine of 10x plus 100. The other graph that we're going to have to look at here is a graph of a line. Since the original equation was equal to 50, this is going to be the line y equals 50. Uh, before we go any further into solving, we need to look at this trig graph a little bit. You'll notice that I put a 0 on the axis as a 0, but I haven't done any scaling here. So let's look at the original equation, 75 sine of 10x plus 100. Uh, I'm going to look at this 10. I need to find the period. So I do 360 divided by 10 and get 36. That's one full cycle of the graph is going to be 36. That means that a half cycle of the graph will take me to 18, and a half half cycle will take me to 9, and that's where the maximum will be. Then, now that I know the 9, I look at the spacing, and I notice that all of these are just 9 units apart, leaving me with 20. 7 right here, 27, 36, 45, and we could go off in this direction, but I'm actually going to go off in the other direction and call this negative 9, negative 18, and negative 36. So just so we've got kind of a nice axis scale. Now let's go on to the solving process. Um, we're going to be looking for all intersection points of these two graphs. And we're going to end up finding four intersection points. The copier's about to turn on. It's okay, though. Don't be scared. We're going to find four intersection points. We're going to first find this one right here. Then we're going to find the one over here that kind of matches it in the other dip. Then we're going to find this intersection point. Then we're going to find its matching intersection point in the other dip. So there's four intersection points that we're going to be looking for total. To find the first intersection point, we set up and solve the equation that was given. So here's how you solve an equation that looks like this. First, we're going to subtract 100 from both sides. And you're left with 75 sine of 10x equals negative 50. Then you divide by 75. And you get sine of 10x equals negative 50 over 75. Then you're going to do inverse sine. So if you have an equation like this, it can be solved in this way. 10x the thing inside equals sine inverse of negative 50 divided by 75. This is something you can push into your calculator. And when you do, you end up with 10x is equal to negative 41.8. So dividing by 10, x must equal negative 4.18. That's our first answer, answer 1. Let's go back to the graph, remembering that we had an answer, x is negative 4.18. So this was our graph. And this was our line. And we had the scale, just like before. So negative 4.18 is right here. And if you follow up or down on the graph, you see 
that it matches with an intersection point. Well, to find the intersection point over here, we can find this one by doing 36 minus 4.18 again. The graph repeats infinitely. It has symmetry. And so because of that symmetry, you are allowed to repeat that pattern that you see here repeated over here. So when you do that, you get x is equal to 31.82. That's the second answer. To get the answer that is right here, we're going to draw the same kind of figure. Notice that on the first answer, we were drawing from the right to the left. Now this side, we're drawing from the left to the right. So instead of subtracting 4.18, we're going to add 4.18. So to find this solution point, we can do negative 18 plus 4.18, which gives you negative 13.82. Sorry, I'm just boxing all my answers. And then finally, we're going to find the fourth solution point right here. We're going to use the same process as we did with the negative 18. We're going to add 4.18, but we're going to add it to 18. So this solution point will be found by doing 18 plus 4.18, which equals 22.18. So in summary, we started out with the equation 75 sine of 10x plus 100 equals 50. We solved it and got x is negative 4.18. Then we added the period of the function on to find another answer, and we got x is 31.82. Then we use the symmetry of the function to find our answers on the other side of the dip. And we got x is equal to 13.82 negative. That was this answer here. And we got x is equal to 22.18. These are the four answers of the intersection point of the line. If this were a trig word problem, there would probably be another step where you would have to use these answers to answer some kind of question. Be ready for my next video that talks about answering questions like that. Have a good day.